This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Now, Old Testament prophecies are, are sometimes rooted in current events, and the prophet, who is writing under the Holy Spirit, uh, would see a current event and relate it to a coming event uh, related to the Messiah. And so a lot of prophecies are, prophecies are like that. Some prophecies have nothing to do with current events. They're just something that's coming in the future. For example, in the last days, prophecies about the last days aren't necessarily rooted in current events. But a lot of prophecies are rooted in current events, and the, and the, the prophets would see that and relate it to something that would happen in the future. And there are a lot of these prophecies that relate to the Messiah. Lots of these prophecies that relate to the Messiah. So what we're looking at, some of these were sometimes rooted in some current events, but they were talking about the coming of the Messiah, and some of them uh, we really won't look at any today that, that deal with uh, the last days. But these are, these are prophecies that God spoke to His people, His, His, His prophets, and given to us for the purpose of revealing what God was up to. And so when it came true, then we could go back and say, oh my goodness, this is what God was up to. This is what God is doing. He said it would happen, you know, hundreds, even a thousand years ago. Now, here we go. 18 Old Testament prophecies regarding the cross. Here's the first one. The first one was that Jesus would be forsaken by his disciples. Now, that prophecy was given in Zechariah some 520 to 518 B.C., somewhere in there. And this is what it said. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who stands next to me, declares the Lord of hosts, strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. There's the first prophecy, that, uh, that somebody would be forsaken and scattered. And sure enough, that was fulfilled in Mark 14, 50, when it just says, and they, referring to the disciples, they all left him and fled. That's exactly what happened when Jesus was arrested. All of the disciples fled. Now, eventually, Peter and John uh, came back and followed Jesus to, uh, to uh, Caiaphas' house. But they all ran away. In fact, they stayed away, with the exception of John, as far as we know, maybe Peter, uh, stayed away. They were hiding. In fact, they were, they kept hiding, uh, because they had, they were, they were fearful for their own lives. So Jesus would be forsaken by his disciples. That was a prophecy that was given in the Old Testament, and sure enough, it came true in, uh, in the New Testament. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a